Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 58 of Forever Stranded, a mud pack by Gaming with Sheridan. So in the last episode, we started crafting the big surprise, which is the telepad block multi-block structure from Ender.io, which lets you teleport across the mansion anywhere. It's expensive, but it's worth it. We also did some more fix to a Dirt Farm 2.0, where we finally solved the signal problem. It was interfering between the block by using the redstone conduit. Now look at this baby. Each one of them are breaking and making more dirt quickly. We also set up in here a place to break down redstone in a double crusher from Actually Edition, Lapis Lazuli in the Pulverizer, which are both the one that gets you the most revenue for your uh, resource. In this corner, we set a manual block placer and mechanical user with a very good diamond pickaxe that has efficiency 4, fortune 3 and on breaking 10 to break diamond and emerald which get grabbed by this vacuum chest and put it back into our system. So in today's episode we need to complete our, our crafting for the telepod and we're going to need some more endermen and we're going to need to do a lot of crafting. So what I'm going to do is grab some endermen and as we're uh, making the uh, end crystal we're going to be moving back and forth doing everything that we need to be able to finish the craft to go to another planet because this is actually our end goal right now to go to another planet and set up this telepod thing so that we can start um, teleporting between planets. Because, I don't know if I told you clearly in the last episode, but my main goal right now is to be able to do episodes where for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I'll be working on the collector's quest, and the other 20 to 30 minutes is going to be a time lapse exploring one planet of choice. And once I uh, felt that we spent enough time on one planet, we would just go to the next one and the next one. And this is important to be able to go easily because we're about we're not running out of dilithium, but we're going to run of dilithium at some point. And to get dilithium, we either have to go to the moon or we have to get sifting some sand. And we don't have a sand line, so that's not really my priority right now. So let me put one of this in here. And let's go set up a couple of things. So during the last episode, I really started getting fed up with a lot of the crafting things that we have to do. So my idea right now is to craft a couple of pattern like this. And oh, that's one. And we're out of quartz class. So let's make a whole stack of this. Let's just get about 10 pattern so that as we go, we're able to set pretty much everything that we want. So one of the first thing that I wanted to make a pattern for is conduit binder. I'm tired of making these. They're always a pain to make. So let's craft a pattern for it that we'll put in the ME interface for the molecular assembler. And let's make a little bit of these. So let's make, I don't know, 100 and, no, not 100. What am I talking about? 64. Let's craft this like so. And now let's make the next pattern, which is a not a crafting recipe, but a transformation recipe, where I'm going to say one binder composite equals two conduit binder. And I'm going to empty all of the conduit binder from there. And this I'm going to put into my alloy smelter right here so that when I come here and say binder, I can say craft and I'll ask for 64 just like I did before, one, two, three, four, and start and these are going to craft automatically. Now the next one that I want to automate are the capacitors because if there's one thing that I've learned, we're going to craft a lot of capacitor in this place, true. Every time we think that we're getting close to having enough capacitor, we need to craft some more. So capacitor, I'm going to craft four, uh, 10 of these, like so. And now that we have at least two, let's teach it the next level of capacitor. So right here, the double layer capacitor, we already know how to make energetic alloy, pulverized cold and basic capacitor. 
So let's just teach this one to our system like so. And capacitor, let's make at least two. And the reason we need at least two is that we need two to be able to teach the system to build the third level, the octatic capacitor, like so. And this is how we make them. And we know how to make vibrant alloy, double layer. We don't know how to make glowstone. So let's also teach it how to make glowstone block. It's a pretty useless recipe, but since we're going to be making a lot of capacitor, we're going to need it at some point. And let's come here, and I already know that I want to craft five-dimensional transceiver, so let's go look at the capacitor. These are the eight that we need for the telepod, and so let's ask right now for five more. We're going to need them later for the dimensional transceiver. And did you see everything that it has to craft? So while this is crafting, let's go back to making some more end crystal. Whoa, right here. So let's start the next one and put this in. Uh, let's grab these. And while we're waiting, we're also, for the dimensional transceiver, are going to need these weird ender resonator. So I'm going to need five endermen head. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to need some solarium, 10 of them. Let's grab 10. We're going to need 10 silicon. Silicon like this. Ooh, that's a lot more than we need though. So let's keep the 10 that we need. And we're going to need, oh, some vibrant alloy. But I think I'm using it right now to craft stuff. So let's make 30 vibrant alloy because we're going to need it later. And you see, I'm still crafting something so I can't get it. So let's quickly continue with this and make the next one. So that's two, that's going to be three and four. We need all seven to be able to continue. So two, let's start the next one. And we have to make three more. So let's just grab these uh, three vial and let's go get three endermen to be able to finish everything. And huh, what would you know? There's going to be at least three endermen incoming. And we got all three, so let's go back upstairs. And that was very good timing. So let's put this, oh, not this one. This and this in here. Let's craft it. And the next one. Okay, so while we're waiting for this, we're also going to need some vat. That's very important because that's how you craft Dew of the Void. So we're going to need three cauldron because I want to craft three vat. We only need two. But I'm going to need some more. I'm going to need six tank, four, five, six. I'm going to need three furnace, one, two, three. And then we should be able to craft all of these. Oh, I'm out of electrical steel. Okay, let's get started with the next one. And let's go make some electrical steel while we're waiting. So five. And this is going to be six and seven. So electrical steel. Same thing as before. Let's teach our system how to make electrical steel. Because I don't want to have to deal with this all the time. Electrical electric, oh, electrical steel is made from... Oh, I know the recipe. It's silicon, if I remember. Yeah. So it's one silicon. It's uh, coal uh, pulverized coal. And it's an iron. Iron, like so. Yeah, perfect. And that's going to make one electrical steel. So let's teach that to our system and let's put it in here. And do I have my vibrant alloy? Vibrant. No, I'm still going to need some vibrant alloy. So let's make 30 of these. Oh, no, sorry. Let's do the electrical steel first. Now I'm trying to do too many things at a time. So I need 63 elect. Well, I don't need 63. I already have one. And I thought I was just going to make a whole stack. So let's go and put do that. And while we're waiting for this, continue with crafting our uh, end crystal. So we have six. This is going to be our seventh one. And with the seventh one, which means we're going to be able to make all of the telepod block that we're missing. While we're waiting for this, we also need to connect this to power. So let's connect it to power right now. With these conduit, it doesn't use a lot of power, so it doesn't matter that it's a 
smaller energy conduit and this line is with the small energy conduit anyway. And at some point I'm going to want to hide this with some painter with a painting machine but it's not urgent so it's not for now. Um, I still don't have any vibrant I think. Vibrant, oh, vibrant, no I still don't. Let's make 30 of these and the electrical steel is not over so I can't do it right now. But do I have enough to start making my vat is the question. That and I need three vats so no I still miss these. Hopefully I can make three. No because I need the capacitor and the capacitor I need to craft so let's just go capacitor. I know I made a recipe for it but I just want to move forward. Let's make all three and let's go with VAT here and make all three machine chassis, one, two, three, and let's make all three VAT like this, and let's go set them down while we're waiting for the electrical steel. So one down here, one down there, and oh, I'm gonna need to collect, connect this one also. This is not mandatory, the third one, but I have a good reason for wanting to make it. If I'm making some VAT, I might as well spend the extra time and make this one. Uh, I'm going to use my infinite water source and a fluid conduit like this. And I'm going to put the infinite water source on top here and the fluid conduit here set to extract like this. So the reason I made this one is for this. I'm going to grab a stack of this and come here and oh, let's grab the water first from the top. And now that it has water, you put this in, and this makes liquid XP. And the shards are not fun to use, but liquid XP is going to be much better. We want to make nutrient distillation, and nutrient distillation is made from heads at 2.0, or mushroom, we don't have enough of these, or netherwort, we don't have a farm for this, or fermented spider eyes, which we don't have yet, or sugar. So sugar is the lowest one, but at least it's one we can do easily. So let's go for some sugar, and I'm going to craft two stack, one to leave in my system and one to put in the vat, like this. And for head, I'm going to use, this is what I have the most, let's look, use 64 of these. So let's start making the nutrient distillation right now. And while we're waiting for the nutrient distillation to get made, uh, Where's my other soul vial? So I have one soul vial here. Let's go craft, get four more Enderman head. But before, let's check if our crafting system is empty so we can start 30 of these. Yes, perfect. So now let's get four more Enderman. One. Uh, nope. One. Come on. One. Two. We're just missing one more mm, there's one of them is not an enderman 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 oh okay i thought for sure one of them was not an enderman but they're all good so let's go back here and put this in right here with a crystal oh that's why we were making some more vibrant alloy and did I not start the craft? Yeah, it is crafting. So what are we waiting for? Oh, we were so out of material that we were also out of the energetic alloy. So while waiting, let's make the seven telepad. So telepad block like this. Let's put all of this in and let's make the seven that we're missing. And that's nine. So our telepad system is done. But for the telepad to work, we also need something called a coordinate selector. Like this, and it's a very easy craft. One uh, compass, electrical steel, and an ender pearl. And all it needs to work is basically paper. So let's grab two paper. One for the base here, and one for the next one. So now do I s start having vibrant alloy? Yes. So I'm going to make five vibrant, I'm going to use five vibrant alloy to make some vibrant, uh, what's it called? Vibrant crystal like this, one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to need to craft some 
pulsating iron crystal, the pulsating crystal, so five of these two, one, two, three, four, five, like this, perfect, and these five vibrating pulsating crystal we're going to put in the sag mill for now, and I'm going to explain why later. It's already on my list, but I'm going to explain to you why it's on my list in a moment. We can start making the heads also by doing this. So let's alternate between the two, one of this, one of the other. And I'm out. Oh, so here, look at this. I'm going to grab a stack of this. And this is how you use it. Shift is only one at a time. So I have to click like this like crazy just to be able to do this. But the reason I crafted the, uh, the vat where I put this in to make liquid XP is... Oh, one moment, I'll start the next one. The reason I did that is that we're going to craft an obelisk. Obelisk, oh, obelisk. And it's going to be an experienced obelisk. So an experienced rod. Ooh, we need some energetic alloy. Energetic alloy, let's craft 100 right now. So maybe it's fast enough that we can do the obelisk now. We need an experience rod like this. We need a machine chassis like this. Ugh. And it needs my thing, my auto crafter is busy. So let's just make one like this quickly. We need the machine chassis and then we can make this. And look at this, guys. I'm going to start the next one right now. Uh, not this yeah this and this not enough xp not a problem let's grab another couple of level right now let's start it but this is the last time we need to do this because now we're going to output our liquid xp into this and this is getting us level and i can just say retrieve level whenever i want some so this is why that well that's not why that's the best way of handling these xp shard Let's now make the next head. And this is so weird. You saw I grabbed two out of there when it was saying only one. It's how the it's working. I don't know why, but this never shows the real number of item. It There might be more than one because the next one doesn't register. Don't know why, but don't panic if you don't see them. Just click on them and they'll just appear in your inventory. So five ender crystal. And we need the five head to make the five dimensional transceiver. While we're waiting for that, let's go and explain the coordinate selector. So the way the coordinate selector works is you find a spot where you want to teleport to. In our case, I want this to be the main teleport place. So I'm going to shift right click here and it lets me input a name. So I'm going to say main base te uh, telepad. Okay. And if you look at my system, it changed one of the paper into like a teleport map. So this teleport map is what is going to tell the system where to teleport. And I grabbed two of these so that I could have one set to here. And once we go to another planet, I'll set the one of the other planet to here to come back here. So let's make some dimensional transceiver. I should be able to craft five of these. Let's put all of this in and five. Perfect. So now before we leave, there's one thing. Oh, not this. That doesn't go here. That goes in there. There's one thing I wanted to do. I think that the reason this is not getting me as much resource as I think is because of power. I think that the 640RF uh, cables are just not powerful enough. So I want to break this and put a dimensional transceiver right here because this is going to grab the power from the uh, nether star generator which is crazy full. So nether, I'm going to add this. Why? Okay, added and I put it in receive. So now this is full of power. But now we're also going to replace these cable with the 5001 from with energetic alloy, which means that now this sh these should fill with a ton of power super fast, which means they should be able to craft a lot more item. As for the Vord resource miner for now, I'm just going to collect c 
connect that one with a 640 and I'll manage it later. It's not the main focus right now. I just want to get more gold and more diamond and whatnot. I'm going to disconnect this here. I'm going to disconnect this side and then I'm going to reconnect them around this. Disconnect that side. So now I need two ender conduit. Oh, right here. One, two. One to reconnect this side like so. And one to rec reconnect that side like so. And I'm also going to disable this one like this. So now it's extracting around and this should start filling up much faster. And I want to make sure that it is filling up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill this whole line with this, which means I have three line left. So unless I don't get any new kind of material, I won't see it. But if I come back and there's item in here, it means that it's refilling again. And we're going to make these much faster at a later time, just not for now. So let's put this in our tech bag. Let's keep the paper, telepad, this. Let's put this in the tech bag also, all of these. And the dimensional transceiver. I'm going to keep the coordinate selector and I'm going to keep this weapon. Uh, this I'm going to put in my regular bag like so. And the electromagnet I'm going to turn on and put back in my bubble head. But that's everything I wanted to do for this episode in the main base, the next step is going to set up the telepad. And once we've set up the telepad on another planet, we'll come back here and we'll end this episode with a time lapse, during which in this time lapse, we're going to be exploring uh, another planet. Let me just check quickly on the Dirt Farm 1.0. It has plenty of wood. So not enough sawdust, so we might upgrade these, but looking at the level of the wood, I'm not sure. And we have 380 stacks of dirt. That's amazing. Let's start putting it in the OSS uh, station, Objects Emission Station. So 67,000. Oh, no, we're going to another planet. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to turn it back off just to make sure that it doesn't put it in the void. And we're going to exit back there because we're going to the shuttle. And I also want to show you the Dirt Farm 2.0 and that it's still working properly. Let's just take a quick look and say, if I say dirt like this, 14K dirt. So I'm going to say that this system is working beautifully. The only problem we might have is being out of gravel, but we're also going to resolve that in a future episode. For now, let's get going to another planet. This is fully fueled. So five, four, three, two, one, lift off. And while we're doing this, I might as well eat some food because I'm basically starving. And uh, do I have my whole jet, uh, space suit on? No, no, no. Uh, where's my spacesuit? Right here. I don't want to get hurt when I got upstairs. So let's continue eating while we're going up since it's all time wasted. And I wish that there was a way to feed you. There's an auto temperature controller. There's an auto thirst quencher. And I wish there was just like an auto feeder system. So now, oh, I didn't want to hit that. We're going down to the space station. Let me eat this and I should be full now. Let's go in F5. I prefer that because then you can see when you get to it. This is such a long ascend and descent. And we're coming down quickly and the beautiful fire that's making us see nothing. Come on, we're coming down slowly, slowly, slowly. And we have touchdown, perfect. First thing first, what do we always do? Refuel, always refuel first. So I'll take the linker, link the shuttle, and I think I need some more dilithium crystal so there's no arm in putting another stack here. You see, I'm, I'm only having one stack left, so pretty soon I wouldn't be able to explore without sifting more sand or getting to the moon. So now let's check, let's get our next destination. Oh, not this, up. 
So we've already went to Epsilon IR. We eliminated Proxima Centaur as having no planet of relevance. We've went to Magnus Vulpus. And we tried to avoid Wolf 12 because it was the one Whisper Fire went to to find her sapling. But now I'm starting to think it's the only place we can find one. Sol 26, pretty close to Earth. This is brown, don't care. Brown, don't care. This is another one, but the stats are not as good on it. So we'll keep it for later. Sol 28 is gray. So let's just do Sol 26. Let's select. And number one, make it so. Let's warp. So we're warping. While we're warping, we're go, we'll go and wait in this shuttle so that we'll be ready to go down. And we're ready to go down to our new planet right now. Five, four, three. Uh, mm, just one second. I'm, I'm really being excited and I'm going too fast. I just want to make sure I have everything. I, I don't even have the dimensional transceiver. Wait a moment. Yeah, okay. So dimensional transceiver to get power, capacitor bank to store the power and transfer it, telepad block to be able to teleport. We have our fuel drum. We have our liquid pipe, our fueling station. Uh, what else? We have our super teleportation frame. We have, where's our chunk loader? chunk loader chunk and double click no not in here not in here either Ooh, oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy always verify that you have everything that's what i keep telling you but that's not what i do let's go back home right now because here's the problem and i've done that in my other playthrough Unfortunately, I'd like to say only once, but no, I've made it, I've done it more than once. If you don't have a chunk loader on the planet where you are, Earth, right here, if you don't have a chunk loader, you can't teleport back because when you try to teleport back, it's not loaded, so you're not able to go there. So unfortunately, these telepads are not chunk loaded. So number one, make it so. And that's one crisis averted. Well, crisis. Well, it's a crisis in one way, because to be able to go back to that planet, we would have to make another space station, another warp core, and blah, 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 and that would be so long. So let's go down to Earth in five, four, three, two, one, liftoff. And we'll, we're just doing that to get a chunk loader. We'll refuel this, refuel this uh, shuttle, the uh, rocket go back up and go to the other planet and we've wasted a lot of dilithium for no reason so regardless of using the telepod or not if we don't find it on the next planet we might need to start saving sand just to be able to get uh, the missing dilithium. sorry the missing dilithium i just had a small hiccup there and I'll, always this is long let's go uh, I wish I had made that mistake. I have my beautiful list here of everything I need to bring with me. But I checked it too quickly and I forgot that part. And the only reason I noticed it is that as I was counting down, I was looking at my list and I was like, did I do my checklist? I didn't do my check. Did I? Yes, I did. No, no, I didn't. And then I'm just like, wait, stop counting. Just look and make sure you're not screwing yourself up. It's a good thing I did because I was screwing myself up. That would have been really bad. So imagine the scenario. I would have set everything up. Then I would have used the telepod to come back here, which is chunk loaded, just to discover that when I wanted to jump right back to the other planet, it wasn't chunk loaded and that I wasn't able to do anything. So I don't want this to ever happen again. And we're going to do more than one planet. So I'm going to make this very simple. These are so cheap. I'm going to make five chunk loader right now. And I'm going to keep these on me. Well, I don't need all of them on me right now. I only need these one. So now we're ready to leave again. And that was a big delay in time for no reason. Um, let's refuel the rocket. And let's check that it's refueled. And it's refueled, so for real this time, five, four, three, two, one, liftoff. 
So now we're going for real, real this time for real. And let's put the <laughs> space suit back on. And you can still see the smoke trail from when we came down. That's so cool. I really like these uh, all these details that they've had. It, it makes it all the more realistic. It's still very square and blocky looking, but all the things that you can do with Minecraft is so amazing that you don't mind so much. So now we're just waiting to go back to the space station to warp back to the system where we were already gone to. That's just crazy. And we've changed it. Let's auto descend. Let's go into F5 change perspective so that we can see ourselves land. And refueled again. And oh, we were out of fuel. So now we're going to have to put our fuel drum down, which always scare me on the space station because when you put your fuel drum down on the space station, I'm always afraid that when we break it, we might lose it. So we're landing. I can get out of that perspective. Let's get out, and like I said, see this drum is empty, so let's land on it. I found that that's the better way to not lose one. You land on it, and when you break it, there's more chance that it goes into your inventory. Let's link the fueler to this, and now let's warp to back to where we wanted to go, which is Wolf, Wolf, Sol 26 right here. Select, number one. Oh, not ready. Oh. So we need to put some more dilithium in the system, which means, am I, oh, so I had enough to go back and forth. I was going to say maybe this is too risky because what if it doesn't work and I have to come back? But number one, make it so and warp. Don't forget to grab back the, the fuel drum or that would be bad and we have our fuel drum. So now we're ready to go down to the planet and it's full of fuel. So let's do that in five, four, three, two, one, lift off. So once we get down to the planet, we'll set our more permanent base. Now that we're going to teleport back and forth, it's not a fully permanent base, but we're going to set up everything that we need. And this is annoying. What is this? Oh, it was just a loading problem. Okay. So we're going to set a base, set a telepad, and then we're going to teleport back and forth to test the system immediately to make sure that this works properly because that is going to be super cool. And then we're going to go back home. And once we're going to go back home, we're just going to make sure everything's right. We're going to teleport right back and start doing a time lapse of exploration to end this episode. So let's descend to this planet. And once we're down, we're going to mark everything. We're going to set everything and we're going to be good. And this planet is Extreme Ills Plus. This sounds a lot like the last planet we went to. The last planet we went to were Extreme Ill, Extreme Ill Plus, and then Extreme Ill M. And it was just an annoying planet to be in. And oh, Tantemp Info. And we're in the middle of the night, but if you look outside, it looks like the day. So I think that the night and day cycle are kind of screwed up in these planets. And of course, we had to land on a tree. Okay, that doesn't matter. We'll just make the base right next to it. And hopefully, is it turning night or am I good to be able to set up my temporary base? So I just want to make one layer the same height like this let's fill in the holes here 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 like this so first thing so i don't forget let's put the chunk loader down right here and how many let's show the laser everything is in even the shuttle so that's all good let's hide the laser so now dimensional transceiver right here let's connect it to our base main base nether and receive and 500,000 RF. Let's put that down here. Let's put the telepad block right next to it like this. So this should be receiving power. Perfect. And I'm hearing some mob. 
So we're in the night and this is not good. So let's just do this as quickly as possible. Where's our do of the void? Where's our do of the void? Oh, wow. <laughs> if you guys are watching this, you must be really like laughing your ass off. It's just one mistake after another. Where's my ender tank? No ender tank means no do of the void means no way to refuel this telepad block. <sighs> so I guess you guys know what we're doing. We're refueling the station and going back home. And unfortunately this time I think that we're pretty screwed because we're in a situation where we won't have enough. Uh, oh! And great. It has to be night. Let's kill the zombie and let's try to do this quickly because obviously we're not safe anymore. Not this one, this drum. And we're going to need a, another one's coming up the mountain. Let's kill him. We're going to need a lever. Uh, where are my lever? Don't tell me I don't have any lever. Oh no, okay. I'm going to need a lever. I'm going to need two liquid pipe like this. So let's put liquid, liquid. Where's my lever? I didn't take it one lever that I'm going to put down right here and hopefully this is good enough. I should be okay now. Or is the shuttle too far? Oh no. So it's linked successfully and it's refueling so all good. Now that it's refueled let's grab back our drum because let's not take any chance. And I do hope that we land back here because if we don't land back here this will be so bad. I just want to also try something. What if I break these leaves down? It's not really realistic because the shuttle is not falling. But if we do land lower, then I'm going to break this whole tree down the next time that I come here. So let's go back home. This is going to be a quick trip. And launch 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm getting tired of saying that with no success. So, oh no! That was the dumbest thing ever. I have a better plan than this. Because this is now chunk loaded. So I'm just going to go up to the space station because I already started this so it's a little bit too late. But I'm not going to warp right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to land back down immediately and I'm going to set coordinates to this telepad. It's chunk loaded. So technically I'll be able to warp right back to this one which means it's safer because if the chunk loading doesn't work I won't be able to warp back to it but if it's chunk loaded and everything's good then I'm going to be able to warp to it and what I'm going to do here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the space station refuel go back down immediately just so that I can set coordinates on that telepad and call it the wool for the W Sol 26 telepad and I'm going to come back up to the space station and warp back home and once I'm home I'm going to warp I'm going to get the do of the void tank and I'm going to warp back to this planet refill this one with the uh, do of the void and come right back and that's what I completely forgot to do so I'm super happy that I saw that. So let's put that right here and let's link, link and refuel. And it's refueling. I'm just going to wait for it. Oh, don't make the stupid mistake. Whew. I'm all derpa 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 tonight. Thank God. I keep on verifying every single step because this is so exciting to me. Like I feel that this is such great progress. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, see and left off. I kind of missed that one. But anyway, as I was saying, I'm so excited about this playthrough and how far it's advancing in this whole telepad system that I I almost forget things. Like I have to rein myself back in and check what I'm doing. 
So still waiting to go back down to the planet. And like I said, here's what we're going to do. I don't need this. I'm just going to use the boomerang. Once we're down, we're going to use the coordinate selector and we're going to set the coordinate on that telepad so that once we're back to the main base, we're going to be able to warp here. And if the warp here worked, then technically we should be able to warp back and forth. And to make sure everything's good and it's not because it's all preloaded in memory, once we get back to the base, I'm going to quit Minecraft, close the program down as if I was shutting down for the night, but I'm going to reopen immediately and continue recording from there. And I'm going to make sure everything good. The other nice thing is that I'm going to see if I land lower on the tree. And if I do, I'm just going to fix that up right now so that I have a nice landing pad. And, oh, yeah, so this is perfect. So this is what I want to do. I want the shuttle to land lower. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to link this to that. And while we're waiting right here, I'm just going to break all this down. And I have a better tool than this, so let's use the better tool. Uh, where's my hatchet? Right here. And see, I came right back down, and it seems to be day already. I really don't know how the day and night cycle work on the other planet. It feels kind of weird to me. It feels like sometime uh, you come back, and immediately it's night just because you're coming back. Uh, let's break all this down. And the fog dissipated, and it's a very beautiful day on a very beautiful planet. So this really seems like the best of all of the planet that we went to. So hopefully this is where we find the sapling because the system does say you found a new planet to call home. And if I'm going to have a new planet to call home, this one would really be the best one to call home, I guess. So let's finish breaking all of this down. And this is really not necessary. It's really me wanting to make it as nice as possible for the nice time we come here. But although I say that, technically, we should never come back here in a shuttle. We should always come back here using our telepod. But let's just make it nice anyway, because because, because it's better. And I said so. Point, final point. I'm the one doing the playthrough. I find this nicer. That's what I'm doing. Uh, like this. And let's expand it one more. Like this. And this should be enough for the shuttle to land on next time. Yeah, perfect. So let's get back our drum because this is the only drum that we have. We have the chunk loader and now let's use the coordinate selector right here. And we'll call this W for Wolf dash Sol dash 26 telepod. And okay. And now that this is all good, we don't have the do of the void, so we can't teleport back home. But now we're going to take our rocket and we're going to go back home. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. So that was a lot of derp, but in the end, it's all good. And if you guys are watching this episode before you're going through all this, make sure to make a list and right before liftoff, like right before the moment, go through your list. And I'm going to put the list down. Uh, in the previous episode, I didn't put the list of crafting for the uh, secret because I, I wanted to keep it secret till the end. And if I put down the crafting recipe, then you guys would have known what was up. But at the end of this episode, I'm just going to take some time to put the crafting recipe on the screen for the telepad and the craft and uh, not the crafting recipe and the prep list of what I think you need to bring. And I'm going to make sure that it contains everything, because if you're missing one element, well, you're kind of screwed. And I've never used Ender Tank across dimension from Advanced Rocketry. So even though I think that the ender tank is a good idea, I'm going to bring an ender tank connected to my whole do of the void system, but I'm also going to bring one bucket just in case, because if it doesn't work, at least I'll have my bucket to fall back on. Let's see if we've landed, we're getting close. And the other nice thing about that is that my space station is going to be 
on my planet, which is where I would want it to be ideally. So let's come down here and let's see if I can just refuel it from, where's my linker? Really? Oh, right here. Whew. I thought I'd forgot it, forgotten it on the planet. That would have been really bad. So this is refueling. While this is refueling, let's select to go back home. So Sol, and in Sol, we want to find Earth, and Earth, and select. And number one, make it so. And let's warp back home. Let's see the fuel status. It's fully fueled up, so we don't even need to put the drum down. Let's get in here. And five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Now we're going back down to Earth. Once we're back down on Earth, we're going to finalize the do of the void part that we completely forgot about. Well, no, we just forgot our ender tank, I think. Or did we? I would have to stop and go watch the video, but we're going to be down on the planet in moments, so I'll see if we forgot that part, because it is part of my list. And technically, it was the point right after putting down the uh, RF energy conduit to go down to my uh, telepad, so it should be done. And again, this is taking forever. I'm glad that we're not going to be doing these back and forth more often because they're an annoying time where I have to talk and keep you guys entertained, but I don't really have anything entertaining to say. So we're going back down to the planet as quickly as we can, and we're going to be able to test the whole system, hopefully fairly quickly, depending on if we forgot to do things or if we did everything. So let's continue going down. We're just waiting at this point. It's a waiting game. And let's get off the shuttle right now and just fly down. Whoa, what? Oh, it's my angel ring. I don't have my jetpack. That was scary. I just saw myself falling and I thought I was going to die. So where are my ender tank? What's going on with my do of the void? I never set it up. Oh, wow. That that was so not good. And I don't even have any do of the void. So my liquid nutrient is full, but I never set up the next part. Let's go to my list. What did I miss? Oh, my God. I missed so many things. Okay. So, guys, thank God I didn't make any mistake, but everything's set back there. So now I need five more Endermen. Yeah, five more. So let's go down here to get the five more Endermen. Not you. These can all die. They're not necessary. Mr. Ender... This one died so fast. It's crazy. I need five Endermen. Oh, I already have one. Oh, I was able to grab him. I thought he died. So good thing. Now I'm just waiting for four more. Come on. While we're waiting for some more, let's check if we have some vibrant... Oh, some more are coming. Come on. Grab this one. Grab that one. And... No, that wasn't an Enderman. Enderman, 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 zombie. Yeah, no, I don't want you, zombie. You can go back in there to die. So while we're waiting for some more Enderman, we're going to need to... One, two, three, four, five. We're going to make some vibrant... Oh. And that's another one. Enderman, 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 Enderman. And my five Enderman. Perfect. So let's go back up. And the reason we need Enderman is for the next part, for crafting the Dew the do of the Void. So Vibrant Crystal, we're going to need five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Like this. And we're going to start making the next one. We're going to need some... Uh, pulsating crystal also. So let's make some pulsating crystal. One, two, three, four, five, like this. Oh, I made six. So two button. I'll throw one back in the system. Let's make the next one of the end crystal, like this. And while we're waiting for this, we'll put all of these in the sag mill. And I'll explain pretty quickly why that is. Just going to wait for these. I'm going to start the next one immediately. And I can use my liquid XP. 
Let's grab 10 XP and start the next one. No, this machine. Let's start the next one. Let's grab a stack of this and put it in our liquid experience tank. And the next one again, like this. And finally, oh, finally the last one. The moment we can, I'm going to grab another 10 level. No, not this one, this machine. Four, this is going to be the fifth one. While we're waiting, let's show this, 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 and that in the system. We don't need these. Come on. Okay, so we have all of these. Let's put these five in the um, sag mill also. Yeah, I know. It's, it, they're very expensive to make, and we end up putting them in the sag mill, but that's because that's what you need to do. So let's make the ender tank that I wanted, ender tank like so. We're going to need three cauldron, one, two, three, and then the ender tank. Ah, I'm out of blaze rod. So blaze. Let's grab a stack and turn around and put them in this machine. Oh, I have 12 already, so this should solve our problem. But I forgot something. Let's make some uh, green uh, lime, not green, lime dye. And I want to make some lime dye because I want to make sure that my uh, ender tank are lime because that to me is the color that the Dew of the Void look like. So ender and der tank. Let's craft three of these and let's replace the white wool with the lime wool and let's make three like this. Turn around and put this in here and let's go. So we're going to put one down right here first. Let's grab a bucket. Bucket. No. Bucket. It's just three tries to find a bucket. So one bucket. Can I extract? Oh, okay. Sorry. So I still need to make some. So let's search for end. And I'm going to grab these and these. Oh, I made double the green of piezality. So I had started but not finished. So I'm going to put these in and show you. The recipe for Dew of the Void is liquid nutrient distillation, grain of piezality, and grain of the end. And the grain of piezalities are basically pulsating crystal ground down in a sag mill, and the grain of the end are ender crystal in a sag mill, which is what we did. And this is what's crafting Dew of the Void. It grabs four bucket of nutrient distillation, one of each of these, and with the one of each of these, it makes, I think, a full bucket. I sure hope it's making a full bucket and not a half bucket. So while we're waiting for this, let's go see if we can five, find five more Endermen because we're going to need some do of the Void and I prefer having more than not enough. Uh, don't want you, don't want you, don't want you. Give me some Endermen. Come on. Anyway, we're waiting for it to craft because we need some to put in both of our teleportation system and they both contain 500 half a bucket so the first bucket is going to fill both of them and the rest is going to go in the ender tank so one two three four well that was quick i wish it was five but you know you get what you can give me the fifth one right now Wow, this thing was jumping. It couldn't kill it. Do I have vibrant alloy? Vib yeah, I have enough vibrant alloy. The reason I was checking that is that I'm going to need to make some vibrant crystal again to make some more ender crystal. And I'm still waiting for the last one, so I'm going to make five more. One, two, three, four, five. Five vibrant crystal like this. And I grabbed it. Perfect. Let's leave right now. Put this in, put this in, put this in. We don't need it. Let's go up. And I'm not going to make all of them right now. It was just something to do while waiting for Dew of the Void to be crafted. So let's look at our Dew of the Void. Can I grab a bucket? Yes. Let's put the bucket in here. And the reason I'm putting the bucket in here is that I want to put this one down right here. And I don't want it to collect. That happened on my other playthrough. I did the same setup. No. Let's put it back to the basic color. 
Although I don't know why I'm doing that since I'm completely disconnecting it anyway. Perfect. And this I'm going to set up to export from the top. So all of our do of the void is going to go in here. Let's start the next one. I'm going to pick up that one right now. And that one is going to go right here. Let me just put a fluid conduit like this. Perfect. And let's see if I can... Can I reach it? Ugh. Break this and reach. Yeah, I can reach. Um, no, not like this. Like this. Extract. Always active. And... Ugh, did I put a power conduit there? I don't want a power conduit there. Where's... <laughs> It's in here again. Let's put the power conduit down back here. So this should be full. So now it's full with do of the void. It's full with RF. And oh, so this is how you use it. This is the W Sol 26 telepad. So you put it in here like this, and it you can take it out right after. And now you have the coordinate and the dimension set up. Let me just come back here and put this in and start the next one. Technically, we're not going to need this, we're not going to need the linker, we're not going to need the coordinate selector anymore, we're not going to need the bucket. Uh, so these, we're just making some more of these. Uh, I'm, out of, I'm out of level, but it's not a problem anymore, because right now, I have so much liquid XP, I just have to finish automating this. So let's grab another 20 level and start this put the last one in. I just want to finish making these so I can put them in the system and forget about them because I'm going to need some more dew of the void and I want to get as much as possible. And the last one. Uh, and oh, we do keep the paper. I thought that it was consuming the paper. To be fair, it doesn't really matter. At this point in the game, I'm not too paper away from having too many resources. So now let's go and put these in the sag mill. And while we're doing this, let's do a little bit of cleanup. Put some paper here. Keep these two. I'm going to keep these two in this bag. And I have the ender tank. And oh, what did I say? I said, let's not make take any chance. And let's make sure that we grab a bucket just in case. And I'm also going to grab a drum. Uh, why a drum? I don't know. I just don't want to take a chance. Worst case scenario, I can put the bucket in the drum and export from the drum because I know that works. But I've never tried to fill a telepad from a bucket. Or did I at the beginning of the episode? I don't remember. So, and let's grab these. Oh, six this time. That's nice. I like that you can randomly get one more, considering how expensive this is. And if I put them in, and I have exactly the same quantity, 7-7. Seven, seven. So let's fill this, and now we have everything. So we're ready. We're going to teleport to the other planet right now. So let's go. I don't need... Oh, yeah, I need to be on this one. And guys, I'm going to quiet now, because the sound of this machine is amazing. So right-click, and then we hit teleport and listen to it. I'm going to get quiet. Uh, teleport blocked. Didn't I put a chunk loader? So I put a chunk loader. I put the teleporter. Is this just not working? No, there's no way it's not working. How would the teleporter be blocked? Um, let me try something quickly. I just want to make sure I should have done this before. So right click. Oh, no, not here. Let's put it further down here. Let's put it in front of our AE2 system. Right here. Oh, no paper in inventory. Okay. I do have a piece of paper, but if you say no, let's try again. So let's call this AE2 main base. Okay. Let's go put this in the system. Uh, 
like so. And let's say teleport now. Huh? What is wrong? A2 main base. Teleport blocked. I really don't understand what's going on. This should really work. I've used this before in my other playthrough. What is going on? I Public, private, protected. Is it because I didn't give it a name? Phil? Oh, not Phil. That's my name. Exedra? Whoa! Oh. Whew, that scared me. So, I really don't know. I don't know why it says teleport block. <gasps> no. I think I have an idea. This would be really bad, but I think I have an idea. Because it can't see the sky? Oh god, I hope that's all it is. This is so weird. What's going on? Let's try it again. Oh! Let's turn it off. Oh. <laughs> and let's teleport. Oh my god. Oh, I got so scared. I thought it wouldn't work at all. And it's just because of this stupid inhibitor obelisk. So I'm going to have to move the telepad somewhere. But that being said, let's try the other planet. Is it really going to work to another planet? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Whew. That was a bit... I'll be honest, guys. That was very stressful to me. Because I got this working in my other playthrough. And I was wondering why it wasn't working when I'm trying to make a video out of it. So, Sol 26, here we come. Teleport. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy right now. I was so scared. And to be fair, I had never teleported to another planet. What I used to do is have... This is so expensive, I'd put one on my starship. On my uh, space station. So that if I ever died somewhere, that I'd just be able to teleport back to where I died. So this was a lot of emotion for me right now. Uh, we'll just I'm just going to take two minutes to close off this. Because what I want to do is... I just want to be protected from mob and I'm just going to go and set up a small quick base around like this and I'm going to make it so that it's two all around. So like this, one, two, one, two. So I'm going to make a wall right here and since I can fly it doesn't matter. It can be just high and no door to get out but I just want to make sure that this is protected so I get no mobs coming at me when I teleport here I don't want to arrive here and have a creeper in my base and uh, end up dying because of a creeper oh no let's just break all of this and make another layer and I'm just doing the quick setup like this but then I'm going to use my uh, my wand to finish the rest so let's do this and that and let's finish this side. Oh my god, it's I never thought like I I don't know why I realized it, but I was so sad because once I knew it wasn't working locally, I knew there was something wrong because like I said, I've used this in my other playthrough, but I never made an inhibitor obelisk in my other playthrough. Did I? Oh yes, I did. It's just that I put it far away because 
my spawning base was much farther. So like this, and let's close this off. Like this. Oh, and we're not done. I still haven't proved that the ender tank works across these kind of dimension. So where's my wand? This is annoying me. And my wand's not in this bag. Hopefully it's in the next bag. Yeah, it's in that one. So let's go one, two. One, two. One, two. Hopefully I have enough block for this. One, two. Oh, I'm looking around. It's not as if cobblestone is missing here, and this is just cobblestone. It would be better with some uh, windows, but it's good enough for now. So we want this. We want a fluid conduit like this. Let's put the fluid conduit right here. Let's put this right there. Let's go down one so that we can click and say extract always active. Let's put the dirt back down and let's look at this now. So this telepad is now working and we want this telepad to go to uh, our main base telepad. So main base telepad right here, main base, base telepad right there. And so we should be good to go. And let's teleport back to our main base. And we're there. Oh, wow. I'm really super happy right now. This worked perfectly. And I only have one problem. I have Enderman in my base because of this. Let me grab one more dirt to close this. I don't... Oh, 18k dirt. This is going super well. Oh. And of course, this is going to go in this right here. Oh, that's where the other one went also. So let me put one right here. And I'm going to have to figure out a way of moving this further because I want my Enderman to stop teleporting. Let me just look at the range. And the range. Oh, it's barely in. So it's in by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's the best cheaty way of doing this. I need seven power conduit. Let's go right here. No, this. Uh, power, power conduit, yeah, so, one, two, th three, four, five, six, Ugh. really, I have a solution for that, it's called the Armor of God. And here, and here, let's put it down here. Let's show the range. And the telepad is outside of the range. So this is good. This is super ugly, super stupid, but this should be good. Let's just look at how much do of the void we have left in there. It's full. And I'm tempted to try it again, but I don't need to. So I'm going to end this episode because it's another hour long episode. But now we have everything in place to be able to do everything that we want for the future. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!